This Palestinian Israeli woman posted support for Palestinian fighters in Gaza on WhatsApp. The Israeli police arrested her and accused her of having links to a terrorist organization. Former Knesset member Mohammed Barake tried to protest against Israel's war on the Strip. He was detained for questioning, along with two other former members of parliament. Rights groups say this is part of a clampdown by Israel on anyone showing support for Palestinians. This is clearly illegal. The decision of the High Court that was issued yesterday said such protests does not need an approval from the police. The court even criticized the head of the police who said Arabs are prohibited from protesting. Palestinian Israelis have attempted to hold protests condemning the war in Gaza, but the Israeli police have dispersed them each and every time. These Israelis attempted to storm a college in Israel where Palestinian Israeli students sheltered. They chanted death to Arabs and verbally attacked the students. The Israeli police eventually evacuated the students. The trauma of the attack remains. Since the beginning of the war, police have questioned more than 370 Palestinian Israelis over social media posts they say violate public peace and incite terror. <laughs> Internationally acclaimed Palestinian singer Dalal Abu Amne was arrested after she posted a prayer online with the emoji of the Palestinian flag. Israeli police said her post was insightful. More than 100 people have been arrested on similar grounds, including university students and minors. At least 44 have been charged, according to Adala Legal Center. Dozens of Palestinians say they have lost their jobs in Israel since the start of the war, and students have been expelled from universities for posting comments online in support of Palestinians in Gaza. Palestinian Israelis say they are facing growing discrimination and worry about how they can show solidarity with those in Gaza if a simple social media post can lead to their arrest. Vera Salaima, Al Jazeera.